Hey everybody, this is the Plenum Knight. Before I get into this first impressions video, I just want to get this out of the way. Originally, I was planning on going to go see this film in theaters, and I was going to make a going to see Halloween ends video, but the problem was both me and my uncle are on a tight budget, and we wanted to save up to go see Black Adam in IMAX, and for some food on Halloween day, so instead, both me and my uncle watched Halloween Ends for free on Peacock for a limited free trial. However, I did record a little bit of my day before seeing the film. Me and my uncle decided to go to Pizza Pirates. He got some chicken wings, and I decided to order something new. I got myself a delicious buffalo chicken pizza with ranch dipping, and believe me, I ate the whole thing in one sitting as I was watching the movie. So what are my thoughts on Halloween ends? Well, ladies and gentlemen, I honestly had a hard time coming up with what to say without spoiling anything. There might be some minor spoilers, but some of this stuff was already teased in the trailer, so I don't think it's too much of a big deal. But to put it simply, I'm disappointed, everybody. I'm very disappointed. Although I was warned beforehand seeing how some of my friends already saw it, but I didn't think I would be this let down. I'm going to start off with the bad stuff first. So get this, the movie focuses too much time on one particular character. Keep in mind, this is a brand new character. He wasn't teased or referenced at all in any of the previous Halloween films, and the movie decided to focus on this character for at least 90 minutes. For a film, that's an hour and 51 minutes. Instead of focusing on Michael Myers and Laurie Strode, I don't know what they were thinking in writing out the plot. Like, I understand what they were trying to do. They were trying to do something different, but it just didn't work. The writing is sloppy. The characters don't really have too much common sense. Some coincidental moments happen. Funny thing is, many people are expressing Halloween ends actually makes Halloween kills look legendary. Because at least Halloween kills had Michael Myers being awesome throughout the whole film. I like Halloween kills. I even liked it when it first came out. As for Halloween ends, there's really not too much for me to like about this film. I just don't like how they focus on Corey, a former babysitter who kills a child on accident, but the people of Haddonfield keep bullying him about it. I also think Allison is by far the most foolish character in the film. I didn't like the whole her going after bad boys thing. After what she went through with Michael Myers, you would think she wouldn't date somebody like Corey. But the worst part about this film is they made Michael Myers so weak in this movie. I understand he's old now, but he's still supposed to be the boogeyman. This movie should have been about Allison and Laurie Strode versus Michael Myers. Not a new character with a romance plot worse than Twilight with a Michael Myers cameo. Okay, but what about the good stuff? What are the positives? What is some of the things I liked about the movie? Well, the kills were pretty good. They were creative enough. This isn't really a spoiler. It's been shown in the trailer, but the final fight scene at the end between Michael and Laurie was amazing. The cinematography was great, and at least the ending actually felt like an ending. No cliffhangers, no teases for other movies, nothing. It actually 
ends. I will say from Halloween 2018 to end, this would have to be the most consistent reboot timeline. Halloween 6 was a disaster and it ended on a cliffhanger. Halloween Resurrection also ended on a cliffhanger with Michael getting his ass kicked by Busta Rhymes. Rob Zombie's Halloween 2 was a piece of crap and they tried to make Lori into the killer. So while I wouldn't say Halloween Ends is the worst Halloween film, but it's up there. I'm sure the Halloween franchise will be rebooted someday. Rather a movie, a TV show, an anime show, or even a video game. It isn't completely over. Halloween Ends is just a major disappointment. But it does make me wonder, will this movie age well as time goes by and then years later people will say it's a misunderstood masterpiece? In my opinion, I doubt it, but who knows. I also think it was a good call for me and my uncle to watch it at home for free instead of paying for a movie ticket to the theaters. So in a way, I feel like um, I can't complain too much. I saw Halloween 2018 and Kills in the movie theaters. It was good times. Unfortunately, I can't say the same thing with ends. But even with that being said, at least I got to see Jamie Lee Curtis as Laurie Strode one last time. Alright everybody, that's it for this first impressions video. That's it for my first impressions on Halloween Ends. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Hit that notification bell for new videos. And peace out everybody. Happy Halloween.